Authorities are assuring Lanao del Norte residents about their safety tomorrow as they vote for or against inclusion in the newly created Bangsamoro Autonomous Region of Muslim Mindanao. But as Rome Lopez reports, two explosions have already rocked Lala and Kausuagan towns in the province on the eve of the plebiscite. Armed troops barricade this portion of a gymnasium in Kausuagan, Lanao del Norte. An explosion happened at around 4.30 in the afternoon at the side of the gym facing Kausuagan Central Elementary School. No casualties oh. were reported. Another explosion occurred at 3.45 in the afternoon, this time in Barangay Maranding in Lala, Lanao del Norte. No official report has been released regarding the twin explosions. The explosions happened just minutes after a motorcycle was checked by the EOD. After two canine units sat on a vehicle which was parked near a church in the town of Lala. Dinobol check natin. To yung isang canine umupo din. Siguro pagod lang yung canine. O, so pag check natin sa yung EOD natin, negative naman. Meanwhile, News 5 got a copy of an internal memo from Lanao del Norte PNP calling for an intensified police operation. According to the intelligence report dated January 31, an MLF member from Marawi City had warned relatives of possible bombing incidents in some municipalities of the province on the plebiscite day. The MLF member even advised relatives and friends not to vote tomorrow to stay out of harm's way. Na yung memorandum na yung is for the purpose of validation. Titingnan ng mga municipal police stations in coordination with other politicians kung totoo ba talaga yun. So hindi naman totoo, so yun na sana. The authorities are assuring the public that there is nothing to worry about. Residents can't help but worry. The motorcycle incident happened while a mass confirmation was being held inside the church. Medyo may kaba. Medyo kinakabahan kami pero hindi kami nagpadala sa tako. The police also reported that 11 families have already evacuated to Usamis in Iligan City for fear of violence tomorrow. Residents from seven other towns have also expressed their desire to leave Lanao del Norte. Naniniwala doon sila doon sa threat na matakaduro. Lanao del Norte Governor ML de Dimoporo meanwhile aired her frustrations against MILF particularly at the group of Commander Bravo. She said Commander Bravo had threatened to attack if the no vote wins in the area. Kung darating man yung sinasabi nilang 200 to 500 outsiders to intimidate the voters, the people of Lano del Norte, they are prepared dahil lupa namin ito, taga rito kami. Hindi kami kayang takotin. Dimaporos are known to oppose the inclusion of Lanao del Norte 6 town in the new Bangsamoro region. And the governor has criticized peace advisor Carlita Galvez for allegedly urging her constituents to vote yes in the plebiscite. Honestly, I felt that we are, Secretary Galvez is feeding us to the wolves. For News 5, Rombe Lopez, we are One News.